So how do you see this one going? You know, I think I'm going to give Francis the edge just because of the confidence he has, the way he's been playing, uh, the matches he's gotten through. And the last time they played, it was before Francis kind of became the Francis we're seeing now. That was, you know, over a year ago. And so I think, you know, there's maybe a little bit of the off factor initially, just the respect level that he probably had for Stan the man. But he's got to get over that. It's time to get it done. Right the, here. Come on, Francis. Yeah, I think back, back then he was just a, yeah. you know, a, a big foe in the come up. Now, now he's up. Now, now yeah. Now, now he's just a kid from Sierra Leone uh, and he's got the tones. <laughs> uh, are they winning tones tomorrow for Francis Tiafo, Andy? There's a lot of question marks right now, actually. I mean, I, I think he had a decent run in D.C., got stopped surprisingly uh, by Evans in the semis there, uh, and then loses first round to Milos Raonic, who was on the comeback trail last week. Uh, in Canada, I, I do like the surface for Francis. It seems like the ball's getting through the court. He can kind of keep that little kind of check backhand down, uh, keep it out of a, a Stan strike zone. So I would go with Francis, but uh, listen, with Stan getting, uh, you know, some 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 uh, bang for his buck there, uh, not a bad bet. All right, if we, if we show up tomorrow, Andy, we're in the same color again. I'll send you a text. I'll let you know. Something, anything. Just be thoughtful is all I ask. <laughs> Just be thoughtful. be thoughtful. I love you, Andy. I love you, Andy.